Matthew, do you feel that you're a changed man now that you've written a book and now that you're a successful author? Well, I think I've changed considerably. I don't think, I know, but I don't think it comes with uh, uh, entirely with the prestige and the money I've made out of this uh, book by Bob Blackie. Uh, I think the main thing is that I finally got wise to myself and quit drinking four years ago that's made the fantastic change. <laughs> Do you have any regrets at all about your career as you look back over it? As I stated in the book, I am not a man of regrets, and I have no reason to be a regretful person. Uh, it all comes under the heading of experience, and it's experience that I believe was necessary in order for me to ever get to a point where I could be contented. I believe, uh, just as I have in the past about those things, uh, about my military geniuses and uh, the people that spend their whole career having never said yes or no to anything unless someone told them what to say, and also a large percentage of the brass uh, are trying to take the glory, but also another privilege goes with that, too, that a lot of them forget, and that's just right in the book. When something goes wrong, the top boy is to immediately assume all blame until he can find out a place to shove that off, and that's something he overlooks. Have you softened your opinions at all about high military decorations? No, I haven't softened them one bit, and I doubt if I ever will until they hit me in the face with a spade. <laughs>